Okay, what is going on everyone? My name is Ricky. Welcome to my YouTube channel guys, Rick Strix. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to increase your performance on Fortnite a lot. So you're going to get a much more higher FPS um, and you won't be lagging and stuff. So you guys can have a lot more fun and take the game a little bit more seriously if that's what you're into. Um, so, but before we get into the video, it'd be absolutely insane if you could hit that subscribe button and uh, use code Rick with two Ks in the item shop. That'd be absolutely insane. And uh, yeah, let's get straight on with today's video. So, this is the best possible way to actually increase performance um, without actually buying new parts for your PC. There's no possible other way uh, that's actually better than this way. There's a lot of other ways that will help a little bit. Um, but this will help dramatically and I have uploaded a video about this in the past So please everyone just stay you must listen to this video. Don't be lazy. Just stay and hear um, What I have to say and do what I show you guys to do and I promise you now even if you have a good PC This will still help you a ton um, So right first thing that you want to do is go down to your little start bit here um, I do apologize if I stutter because this is a live commentary, so I only get one take um, at doing it so Go down to your start button here and you're going to want to type in registry editor. It should literally just pop up as soon as you type in like REG. Um, and once you've done that, just open that bad boy up. Now, mine's already set up here, but I'm going to take you through it. So it's the third one down right here. Um, it says H key local machine. So what you want to do is click on that one there. Um, and then in there, it's going to say software. Now, right next to them on the left, I have little arrows. You want to click the arrow where it says software. And then inside there, it's going to say Microsoft. You're going to want to click the arrow there as well. And then inside there, you're going to want to scroll down quite a bit. So click the arrow on Microsoft. Uh, Microsoft. Scroll all the way down. It's quite far. And then you'll see Windows NT. And then you're going to want to click the arrow on that one. And then there will only be one option in there. It says current version. All you want to do is click the arrow on that one as well. And then you're going to want to... Sorry about that Facebook noise. And then you're going to want to scroll down. Um, once you've clicked the arrow next to current version. Scroll down until you say... Uh, until you can see image file. Um, execution option or whatever. Um, and then what you want to do... So I'm going to put these in the description. But what you want to do is... Copy and paste the first one here. So I'll put them in order. This is the one that you need first. So you'd copy and paste this. Fortnite client win64 shipping.exe. And you'd go into here. And then where it says image file. You're going to want to right click this. Okay. And you're going to want to click new. And then click key. Okay. And then that's going to. Once you click key. It's just going to tell you to name it. And then obviously you name it what you just copy in the paste, which is this right here, Fortnite client win64 shipping.exe. Um, and then once you've got this, you want to then copy and paste um, the next one here, perf options, okay? And do the exact same thing, but this time you want to right click on the Fortnite one that you just put in there, click new, click key, and then paste in the perf options, and then you'll be left with this right here. And now once you've done this, you're going to want to go and get the last one that you need to copy and paste, which is CPU priority class. You're going to want to copy that. And then you're going to want to right click on the perf option, click new, and then click D word 32 bit value. Not this one, this one, the 32 bit value one. Click that and then just paste in the CPU priority class just like that. It won't let me do that though because I already have one. So I'll just delete it anyway. I don't actually need that one there. And then you will have this here. It will just say the CPU priority class. Just chill in there. All you want to do is click it. So that's blue. And then right click it. Click modifier. And change your number zero to three. Okay. And then that's going to make your priority higher when you load up Fortnite. So once you've done that and pressed OK. You're now chilling. And you can just go boom. Like so. Um, and then we'll actually load up Fortnite. I'll show you. And the reason why this is good is because you can't actually do this normally. Fortnite, like your PC won't allow you just to, on some games you can just go into your task manager and you can right click it and you can change the priority there. But Fortnite will not allow you to do that. It just comes up with an error. So you have to do it manually. 
this. So as soon as Fortnite is launched like this, it is already going to be in higher priority automatically. Um, and if you don't know how to locate that, you want to go into Task Manager. You can either right click at, like on Fortnite and click Go to Details. And then we the one that's automatically highlighted for you. And then you right click there and then set priority. Yours will be normal, but if you've done this, it will now change to higher. Now, what this means is your CPU is sending more power to this game, to this app that is open right now on your PC um, or this application, whatever you want to call it. Um, but yeah, so it's going to make it perform a lot better. Now, if I turn this off, I can't play Fortnite. I have an i5 and a 1050 Ti, so I don't have the greatest PC, um, but I must have this on or it's, it's literally impossible for me to actually play uh, whatsoever so but yeah other than that guys that is basically it um it'd be great if you could subscribe if this worked for you um also leave a like on today's video uh, and a comment and if you could use my support credit code that'd be insane code rick with two k's in the item shop and uh yeah i'll see you guys in the next one peace